What do you do when your 70 year old train has an accident and a part breaks off? DIY today on Austin's American Flyer YouTube page. So today, we're going to be looking at this little part. This is a part that holds the linkage on the side of my 326 Hudson steam engine. And uh, it snapped off. The backstory is when this engine came into my possession, it had some problems. On the outside, it was beautiful. However, the front uh, cylinder section was broken off. The section underneath the boiler where a screw held everything together was, was shattered. And as I dug into the engine a little bit more, I discovered that this also was broken and there were a few other pieces that were broken. And, and what was so peculiar about this was this set was in immaculate condition. Take a look here. Over there. The good news is, JB Weld came to the rescue, and thus far, with the exception of this little part here, it has done amazing at keeping things together. Now, uh, to JB Weld's credit, can you give credit to uh, epoxy? Anyhow, um, to its credit, the only reason this popped off is because I was letting young engineers run stuff, and there was an incident. Had there not been an incident, this would still be a fix, there'd be no issue. The issue though is the piece has two holes in it and the holes are intentional because you can fit a screwdriver through and there are two screws that hold linkage to the die cast side of the boiler. When I did my repairs, I had necessity, out of necessity, I had to re-drill this particular sub-assembly and put a new bracket in um, and by doing that it actually spread this distance apart. Uh, there was no way around it with my limited tooling capabilities and so the only solution was to make a new part. So today I'm going to share that with you and hopefully you'll be inspired to not give up on those old projects that seem beyond repair. 